What's going on, everybody? Ultimate DJ's here with another teaching trek YouTube video for you from our Quick and Dirty series. This is it. You see it. It's the return of the Mega Cube. It has, in fact, returned, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. We're going to teach you how. People have been asking for this video forever. It's taken me like seven months to make it. And here we are. I'm going to give it to you. The Quick and Dirty version. Here's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover the events. Day one. Here we go. Day one. Let me, let me switch over in two that uh, thingy here we go is this day one it sure indeed is let's jump in everybody day one live target practice that's what we got going on right now if you're into the game uh, right now, we'll take a look into your events, and you will see Return to the Mega Cube. We see the uh, target practice. You see Borg recruit tokens. You see event store loot, okay? That's great. No directives. Do not spend directives on day one. Just don't do it, okay? No directives on day one. As a matter of fact, here's your payouts, and again, we see no directives. That is normal, all right? No directives. Day two. Here we go. Let's enter into day two, which is recruit and assimilate. A solo leaderboard to recruit the Borg off. Officers, guess what? Look at day one, folks. You got these board recruit tokens. All right. Hopefully, you've got uh, you finish these milestones, which equal 100, meaning that you are going to get a pull out of the board recruit chest. For the love of Pete, don't do that today either. Okay. Wait until day two. Why do I say that? Here it is, the board recruit special. Okay. You are going to earn with your 100 at least four officer shards. Why is that important? Because over here on day two recruit and assimilate you're going to gain points for getting borg officer shards all right and listen it's a leaderboard right four shards ain't going to do a whole lot except this leaderboard goes 500 deep this is a gimme event why is that important because not only is it giving you more war funds but it's giving you the directives that you're going to need for day three again folks do not spend these when you earn them Wait until day three before you start doing the directives. Now, even once you start day three, let's pull up day three. Where is it? Here it is. Borg Armada attack. All right. If you only get two directives and they have started to wean us off of these, they used to give us a gift chest. It is no more. It's done. So if you do the bare minimum in that solo leaderboard, you're only going to get two directives, which means that it's not quite enough to hit your 200 points. And that's what players fuss about. Well, it's not possible. Yes, indeed it is. All right. And this event has been going on now. I think this is the third or fourth run. They have given us a path. And folks, you need to recognize it. Now, if you have always spent your loot, if you have no loot starting this event out, then you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. You're going to have to ride some coattails. Do not... I know that the Vidar skin is in here, and I know that the officer shards are in here, and that's exciting to you, but there is a step one, and you must perform it, folks. You must buy 10 Mega Cube directives. I don't care if you do it with event store loot. I don't care if you do it with cash, but you must have 10. I'll tell you why in just a moment. Why would that be? Why do you need to start the event with 10? That's because inside the Borg Mega Cube directive, bundle you are going to see this event pop up on day three the mega cube directive bonus and even though it does say retrieving what it will do is score 10 points for each mega cube directive spent it costs 10 mega cubes to or 10 mega cube directives to start a mega cube armada that means do one mega cube and earn one mega cube should you spend your free one this time no don't do it you have now entered the mega cube loop all right this gives you a free mega cube every single time that this event runs why is that important i refer you back to the day three sms let's come back and take a look at it here it is the day three sms is going to eventually require people on your team to be able to run these mega cubes if everybody gets one start every single time this event runs nobody in your alliance will have any trouble finishing this milestone however if you're doing it with all uncommons it's going to take a lot to get there to that 200 points this event is mathematically written to use the mega cubes and if everybody has a start even if you lose to the mega cube you're going to get 50 points to start you're going to lose 
uh, to the Mega Cube and get another 50 points. And then let's say you're on a six-man or even a five-man team where you started one and played in yours. You've got four more that you get to play in with your other team starts. And that, even if they were all losses, will still get you there. But even if you were able to gain a win or two, you got your win against the Mega Cube at 120 points. This event is also a gimme with the tools that they give you. You must enter this loop. You will start the event with 10. Those are the 10 you're going to sp uh, spend on day three. And when you spend them, you're going to get 10 more. And you save these for the next time the Borg event runs. Then you have your 10 Mega Cubes. You start one then. Then you're going to get one then. And you'll have one to start in the next subsequent event. That is super important because if you do not enter that loop, then you will never be able to run the Mega Cube. Yes, it is a small sacrifice up front. It is a barrier, an entry fee, but you must spend your event store loot, unless you're going to buy them, you got to spend your event store loot to get your first 10, and then you're in the loop. After that, every single event from here on out is a gimme, and you can spend your loot on whatever you want, but you got to start with buying into the Mega Cube path all right what should you be targeting let's talk about this very quickly the photon cannons if you take a look these are safe these are perfectly fine to target they are tough against battleships and we take a look at their mitigation this is what we're hitting them with it's flat 40,000 across the board and so those are perfectly fine to hit the disruptors same thing they are very very powerful against explorers Looking at the mitigation, 40 across the board, these are safe to hit. If you're running with a team of Adars, there's only one target you must avoid. It is the Tractor Beam. The Tractor Beam is especially powerful against interceptors of which your Vidar is. All right? Do not run Vidars against the Tractor Beam. Okay? Do not run Vidars against the Tractor Beam. That's the only thing you got to remember. Avoid the Tractor Beam. The other two varieties are completely fine for you to run with a team of Vidars. What should you be putting on your Vidar? Well, there is the formula, okay? There is a formula. First of all, the weakest player, the smallest player, the sacrificial lamb, he should be running, or he or she, should be running 9 of 11 in the captain's chair. This is giving you a critical chance reduction, all right? A critical chance reduction against the Mega Cube of 30%. The Mega Cube only hits 30%, so it's eliminating all crits. You will fail without this officer set up right here, running with full synergy, okay? You could run uh, 978 is fine. That's going to get you full synergy. Although, I would recommend for that sacrificial lamb to run 975. All right, 975. Why do I add 5? Because of the loot bonus. And what's important about these uh, Mega Cube directives out here? Let's take a look. Uh, or the Mega Cube Armadas. They are dropping active nanoprobes. So, having a loot bonus there is going to get you some of those extra active nanoprobes which is the value of this event. Sacrificial Lamb running 9, 5, and 7. Your leader, your strongest player in the Armada, in my opinion, should be running this combination right here. 5, 6, and Lorca. You could run 5, 6, and Gorkon if you wanted to. You're after the hull breach, all right? This is the one you want to last the longest. Give it to your most powerful player. 5, 6, and Lorca. Everybody else, the other three players, or four if you're a six-man Armada, this crew right here, 5, 6, and Khan. This is the most general use crew. There are some others that might do a little bit better if you do a little bit of tweaking here or there, but this just as a quick and dirty, there you go. Five, seven, uh, se uh, sorry, nine, five, and seven on the sacrificial lamb, five, six, and Lorca on your leader, and five, six, con everywhere else. If you are running a six man team with Max Vidars, there is not a target out here you will not destroy. All right. Max Vidars, six man team, you will take out the Mega Cube photo cannon, uh, photon cannons and the cube disruptors. Easy peasy. If you're running a five man team, it's going to be a little bit tougher. But again, we talked about in the event, even if you lose 
on the one that you start, that's 100 points. But then if you can go back and play in a second one and you guys do end up taking it out, and I do believe a two-tap is very, very possible, even with a five-man team, then there is your second 100 points. You finish the milestone. There you go, folks. That is the quick and dirty on the return of the Mega Cube. Do you have questions? Leave them in the comments down below. We'd be happy to answer those for you. We covered the crew. We covered the targets. We covered the mechanic of the event. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your quick and dirty. My name is Ultimate DJs. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Hey, uh, click on the little bell so you know when we do other content. And be sure to tell all your friends. Right here is the video you need to see with regards to Return of the Mega Cube. Good night, everybody. Love you, mean it. Meow. See ya.